Hey guys, Jake P, and we're gonna play some Guild 2 Renaissance. It's the uh, most recent expansion of the Guild 2. Uh, let me go back. Uh, I have it updated to the latest beta patch, 4.17. This game was pretty buggy when it first came out. Let me turn the music down a little bit. I want you to hear me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the most recent expansion of the Guild 2. Um, I never played the Guild 1. <laughs> the Guild 2 was buggy when it first came out. A lot of people were turned off by that. It took a while, but eventually they got it fixed, and it was a pretty fun game. Uh, if you've ever watched Jeff Major's playthrough of the Guild 2, it's pretty awesome. You should check that one out. But yeah, I'm playing the Renaissance. There's a uh, Bunch more job classes, the AI plays differently, and it's supposed to be more polished, even though it was pretty buggy when it first came out. And they're still working on some things, but it's playable right now, so we're gonna play it for real this time. Let's put it on one year per round. I actually can play that way. Uh, this is a map we're gonna play it on, and uh, yeah, four dynasties is the most we could do. The difficulty determines how much money you start with and how uh, aggressive the AI is and I wanted to start on easy just so we don't take forever just getting started um, yeah it's not that big of a deal if I really wanted to I could even go into the like INI file and change the amount of money that I would start with on a different difficulty and do it that way but this is fine and you can pick your coat of arms what color your uh, Family is your dynasty. Pink shield swords. All right. Um. Yeah, I already made this guy because this isn't the first time I'm trying to record this, just testing out my software and stuff, trying to find what's gonna work the best. Mean Gene. It's a rogue. The uh, classes. Patron, craftsman, scholar, rogue. Patrons make uh, food. And they run taverns or inns. The craftsmen build weapons and other random little things and doodads. Scholars, I don't know, they research stuff. They run hospitals, they run the churches, and they run banks. Which last patch was buggy. I'm not sure if they work it or not. But we're not going to have to worry about that because we're going to be rogues. We're going to steal from the banks. Uh, the zodiac sign, each. Uh, Zodiac sign gives a plus one bonus to start out to one of these stats. I believe Taurus gives me a plus one to Charisma, which is a stat that we're going to need. But Rogues um, start out with a 150 point cost for Charisma. Uh, the way that the stats work are like your main stats cost 75 for the first upgrade, and then they go up from there. Uh, secondary stats cost 100 to upgrade, and then the third tertiary stats are 150 to upgrade from the start. Well, these ones are already upgraded, but you get the idea. So yeah, just started off with one of my 100 plus 150 to buy one, skills plus one. Um, I don't know if religion does anything. Let's be Protestant. Why not? Be a dude. Not a dame. And, uh, where is the enemy? Where is the enemy? There's a few voices. I like this voice. This is the voice we're going to go with. I'm not going to mess around with this too much. Let's go. <clears throat> Alright. Not going to be too many loading screens, at least. In this game, just when the game starts for the most part. And maybe a quick one when you go into certain buildings, but nothing like this. This will be the longest we have to wait before gaming. Eliminate your competitors. Also, you know what? Let's stop this video here, make sure everything sounds right and looks right. And yeah, this will be the introduction video. The next video we will start playing the guild too. Alright, with Mean Gene. Jake P.